These Baofeng radios are really popular, and I think for good reason, because they cost about 40 bucks, and they do a lot of cool things. Uh, but knowing which frequencies belong to which channels is kind of annoying, so um, I have programmed my radio with all of the UHF, or CB, same thing, channels, uh, as well as all of the VHF channels. There's only 127 slots on this radio for channel data, and to fit all of the relevant VHF and UHF channels onto them, uh, I had to make a pack that fits all the important ones and it can drop out the telemetry ones that you would never want to use anyway. So how do you get this cool programming on your Baofeng radio? Well, let me show you. So the first thing you're going to do is get your programming cable and plug it in. Now you want to have your volume set about halfway. What we're going to do is open up Chirp. Chirp is a free program uh, that lets you upload things to and from your, uh, your radios. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to download from the radio. This isn't strictly necessary, but it's a really good way to confirm that you have everything working. So our radio is plugged in, and now we're gonna select this USB serial, which is what the computer calls the programming cable. Select your model and your vendor, hit okay. And we'll see here that it's cloning from the radio to Chirp. Now, this isn't gonna do anything as soon as we finish, we're just gonna close this, but we it means that we know that the radio is talking to the computer and there's not any issues there that we're gonna have to deal with later. Great, so we can close this. Uh, now we won't save the changes. So we know it's all talking beautifully. Now what we have to do is go to File. This is on Chirp here. We go to Open. We choose our uh, image file and we open it. So there's a beautiful image file that you might have just purchased on eBay or downloaded or gotten from a buddy. Um, this file that I'm using here is one that I sell on eBay if you're interested in buying it for a couple dollars. Once it's in Chirp, you click on radio and instead of downloading from the radio, we're gonna upload the data to the radio. This should be set up already with the serial port in the radio. You can't change this because that's baked into that IMG file, but just to make sure your serial port's the same as it was before, and hit OK. And now you'll see on the radio itself, it's flashing a green light because it's uploading. And when it finishes, it will reboot the radio and you should see the welcome message on the screen here. Yep, there you go. Now if it boots up here and you still see these numbers, that's fine. We haven't turned that off, nor should we turn that off. You just hit this orange button here to change between uh, the frequency mode and the channel mode. And there we are, ready to go. We'll scan and see if we can find anybody.